This story's just for you and it's breaking as we speak. I'm Rob Shooter from the Naughty But Nice Celebrity Podcast. Scandal and vice, or sugar and spice. It's naughty but nice with Rob. Don't get angry, I'm just giving you the news. Kylie Jenner has been named Forbes' youngest self-made billionaire for the second year. So there was a ton of criticism. Oh my goodness, people went berserk. When she first made the list, what they were angry about is the term, quote, self-made. And they couldn't possibly see how this could apply to a member of the Kardashian-Jenner family. Forbes actually explained that despite having a lot of help, she did, from her famous family, she didn't inherit her business. She actually built that, and now she's done it again. She's back on the list. Get this. There's only 10 billionaires, only 10 in the world, who are under 30. This is what's so impressive. Seven of them are heirs. So seven out of the 10 got given their money. Only three are, quote, self-made and created their own fortunes. Stripe co-founder John Collison, Snapchat co-founder Evan Spiegel, and then Kylie Jenner, who's just 22. The success of her business has been extraordinary. Her makeup business, she sold 51% of it to Cody. They own massive, massive beauty brands, including CoverGirl. The sale of the company was valued at 1.2 billion. billion dollars. You heard that right. She's technically the most successful Kardashian Jenner. I hit the phones and my sources told me the following. What's the secret to her success? It's her loyal fan base and her social media platform. She has one of the fastest growing beauty businesses in the world. And she has the number one, the number one highest engagement of all beauty brands on social media on the planet. She has upwards of 270 million 270 million followers. Insiders also add, don't think she's stopped here. What's next for Kylie? Insiders tell me she's actually thinking about getting into politics. That's right, not just Kim Kardashian going to the White House, but maybe Kylie Jenner one day being in the White House. Ooh, what do you think? It's naughty but nice with Rob. Click the link below to check out my podcast. Could it be any easier? Naughty but nice with Rob.